Uh, the student from Chavakali High School who died in a road accident in Kisumu is distraught and has laid blame on the school's administration for okaying the night travel. Meanwhile, they say that despite the news breaking on social media, the, so uh, the school is yet to deliver an official statement to them as Sheila Chelangat details. 9 p.m. yesterday, this Isikoch bus ferrying 34 students from Chavakali High School got into an accident, killing one on the spot and injuring others. The family of 17-year-old Joseph Madula, who died, is yet to come to terms with a sudden turn of events. The student was traveling home for the April holidays. And with the news of the accident breaking on social media, it was a cause of worry for Mary about the safety of her son. Kulingana na easy coach, kusabu hiyo ndio basi huwa wanatumia kukomute, um, wakangalia, wakaona all the buses were fully booked by other schools prior. So, hainge kue tikitu wange make a decision na seme, okay, sawa, tunde ni kesho because there were no buses. Aka muwa sasa wa travel usiku. Na nikitu ambacho wakijawa ifanyika kwa any midterm, any closing day, aija ifanyika usiku. So, wazazi wengine walikuwa sawa, wazazi wengine hawakuwa sawa. So, I was worried why hawaku natupatia option, yeah. Mimi mwenye staki, she says so far she is yet to receive official communication from the school administration about the incident. 5, 5 a.m. kuna watu walikuwa nasema, oh, basi imefika, my, student, my son is here, oh. So nikanza kusema, hope, hope, hope. 6 a.m., 6.45, basi badu zimeingia, wazazi badu wanapokea watutowa pale easy coach. Na nikajuliza, eh, kwa ni wangu wafiki. During this period, when they are dispatched, to Nairobi, they are still in the hands of the school and the principal. That is why the only person that Mama Jo could call are the teachers. But nobody, nobody has communicated. Other students involved in the accident are receiving treatment at the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Referral Hospital. Sheila Chalangat for TV 47.